The hugely popular Netflix show Wink Saga has officially been renewed for a second season. Production on the new episodes is going to be starting later this year, so get ready for it. Let's go through everything you need to know about the second season. Before we dive in, remember to like this video and subscribe to see more of our content. Don't forget to turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. As of right now, we don't have a release date for season 2, but the first season wrapped up only a month ago, so the fact we got an official announcement so soon is a really good sign for the future of the series. Filming is scheduled to begin in the later half of 2021 in Ireland. If everything goes according to plan, this should mean that the brand new season is set to drop in 2022. For those hoping for a trailer to be released, you could be holding out for a while. As filming hasn't begun yet, it's likely it'll be a little while until the trailer is put together for release. However, Netflix did release a teaser for the official announcement on February 18th. There's not a whole lot of information so far Far, but we're expecting that to change as we get closer to filming. It looks pretty eerie and spooky so far, so we can definitely expect the dark, sinister theme of this fairy story to continue into the second season, particularly with the huge cliffhanger of an ending we got. We can comfortably say that the start of the new season is going to be intense from the start. Are there going to be any changes to the cast? Something fans are dying to know is if there are going to be any changes to the cast of Wink Saga. So far, the information we have is that all cast members members are going to be reprising their roles for Season 2. To refresh your memory, this includes Abigail Cohen as Bloom, Hannah Vander Westhusen as Stella, Precious Mustafa as Aisha, Elliot Salt as Tara, and Alicia Applebaum as Musa. It has not been officially confirmed that we will be seeing new characters, but it has been teased by showrunner Brian Young. It would also make sense from a storytelling perspective to introduce new faces with the start of a new season. There was a little controversy stirred up during the release of the first season, as two of the main characters were cast as different ethnicities as portrayed in the original animated series. Musa, whose animated counterpart was based on actress Lucy Liu, is clearly East Asian. However, white English actress Alicia was cast to play her. Similarly, Latino character Flora was swapped in the live action for her cousin Tara, who was played by Elliot. Fans were unhappy about this and were vocal on multiple online platforms. Show creators have announced that they heard these concerns and complaints, and this has led fans to speculate that the swapped out character Flora might make her appearance in season 2 to make up for the lack of representation in the initial series. Abigail Cohen, who plays the lead character Bloom, spoke out herself to fans to give her opinion on the situation. We can't speak on casting process, as we're not a part of that, but it is an important thing to talk about and we definitely respect everyone's concerns. I do think that there was a lot of confusion with Tara's character because people thought that she was supposed to be Flora. At that time, I don't know if we were really able to explain it without giving away details and stuff, so I think maybe that's changed because fans now have hope that there will be a Flora and then they also met Tara, and you can't not love her. Elliot does such a tremendous job of playing her, and I think it's cleared up in the show that she's definitely not Flora, she is Tara, who is a cousin of Flora. I think people are aware that it was teased, maybe we'll have a Flora if we get a second season. Thanks to Abigail's statements, we can not only see how engaged the cast are with the perceptions and fan opinions of the show, but that they themselves would love to see Flora make an appearance and are hoping for it. How many episodes are we going to get in season 2? It's now been officially confirmed that we are going to be getting 8 episodes in season 2. We don't know any episode titles yet, but hopefully these will be released as time goes on. This is a huge improvement, as in the first season there were only 6. This leaves 33% more room for drama, gossip, and most importantly, magic. What's going to happen in season 2? So, as of right now, we don't have a whole lot of information available on the plot of Season 2. We do know for sure that the story is going to carry on taking place at the magical boarding school of Alfea, so fans are speculating that the longer series might mean delving more into the history and lore of the school. For sure, the added length means that the writers can go into more detail and depth than ever before. Showrunner Brian Young made a statement about future content which filled fans of the show with excitement and anticipation over what is to come. The six episodes in Season 1 only scratched the surface of this incredibly rich world and the powerful fairies who inhabit it. As Bloom's story continues to evolve, I can't wait for you to learn more about Aisha, Stella, Tara, and Musa. And you never know who might show up at Alfea next term. Whilst not giving away a 
ton of information, it does drop some hints about what kinds of things we can expect. We can definitely look forward to Bloom developing her powers and her own personal journey. Her main circle of friends will also no doubt be getting some serious character development, and if the first series is anything to go by, it's going to be interesting for all of them. They're having to navigate all the normal teenage situations like relationships, drama, and issues whilst having to fight monsters and become masters of their powers. If Brian's quote is anything to go by, all these things are going to be heating up in the next season to come. The season ended with Bloom finally accessing her true powers, calling forth the incredibly powerful Dragon Flame in a battle against the Burned Ones. This amazing display of strength shows that her magical powers have serious potential, and fans think that the second season will show her learning how to control these fiery new abilities. In addition to this, the intense new powers that Bloom displayed, plus the huge swath of enemies to battle at the end, could show some dark foreshadowing for the future. The ending battle is very likely to show us what kinds of dangers and threats are coming for our favorite fairies, so any training and control they can master over their new powers is sure to set them in good stead for what is to come. Another plot point in Bloom's life that fans want to see resolved is all about her family. Who are Bloom's parents? We know from the first season that she was switched soon after she was born as a tiny baby. Why did this happen to her? Fans are theorizing that in the second season we will find the answer to these questions, and if Brian Young's comments are anything to go by, we will definitely be delving more into Bloom's history and exploring her character more than we ever have before. What's in store for the future of Alfea? At the end of the first season, we saw the headmistress of magical boarding school Alfea fall to the dark forces and powers of Rosaline. There's still a lot about Rosaline which remains unanswered and elusive, much like leading Lady Bloom. Lots of fans also believe that headmistress Dowling didn't actually die, and somehow escaped her fate to be able to make a comeback to help save the school. Whether Dowling survived the attack against her or not, with Rosaline having taken over the school, the future is definitely dark. Whether or not she will take her time in assuming control of the young fairies, or suddenly taking an obvious command, will remain to be seen. However, the young band of friends will have a difficult challenge ahead to combat the sinister workings and motivations of Rosaline. Whatever season 2 has in store for us, it's plain to see from all the hype online that fans are absolutely desperate for it to start. The first series set up tons of mystery, intrigue, drama, gossip, and so many questions, which we can't wait to know the answers to. While we are waiting for the next series, we definitely recommend binging the first one a couple more times to make sure we are fully prepared to embrace the twists and turns of the new season when it's released. Once again, don't forget to leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our content, and turn on notifications to make sure you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks for watching.